Hi. This is the best view I can do. Um, behind me is the, certainly not lit, but the uh, cancer uh, hospital. I don't know what they call it, a recovery room? I don't really know. But it's the room I'm in. Here at Yale. It's my little, uh, I guess recovering. Um, yeah. We don't know if I'll recover, of course. There will be many promises. Uh, I know for one that my uh, strategy is going to be different than yours. And I definitely understand yours. I don't need mine to be understood by you. Uh oh. By the way, throughout, I might hiccup or cough or pause to I just do it myself. I have such dry mouth that often in moments the ability to talk goes away. Anyway, I'm just. All right, oh boy. There's these waves of cramps, and all I can do is breathe well through it. That's what that was, sorry. Anyway, Don Miller, I love you. Honestly, deeply, truly, foreverly, broadly, as you are. I love you. As you have been. I love you. However you might ever become. I love you. You continue to have taught me so much. Certainly in martial arts you were so sure. Uh, particularly, I think about what you teach in terms of power. Uh, a lot of that is what you teach through the action of being an evergreen student of power. And power is such a namby pamby probably useless word. Wasting energy. But one particular power that I have learned through being close to you and observing you. I don't know what I might call the power the power of the rebel. Often the um, expression of that power through you, you know, as I've seen it, has been, again, my, you know, sort of my take, has been that it's a bit reflexive and that you enjoy the reflexiveness, you know, the rebelliousness, you know, the twinkle in the eye. Doesn't mean it's wrong, just a view I have. And often, it can be a little uh, fight where other people aren't looking for a fight, even though you're right. You can perhaps shift towards twee. Which is kind of beautiful. I love you. But this, this student of power that I see in you, and it always has, is deeply inspiring. 
part of the source of power. Power of position, power of gesture, power of spirit, power of earth, power of the shaman. And so I see this shaman's power. Certainly see plenty of, you know, big bull physical prowess power, a lot of spiritual power, a lot of intellectual sort of uh, coalescence into real amazing locus of power. But then I got to see your son born and and see this kind of pop of power reveal itself to me, you know. Uh. Ice chip pause. the power to um, so um, gently care for the boy I'm thinking in a sense of offense you know where you establish some boundaries that are soft but in a way that the kid's not really aware of the fence. The kid has this hippie freedom, but is actually softly cared for. And going along with that was this, not a gesture, um, certainly not performative. Uh, how do we describe it? Just the you immediately learning from the sun, who most would objectively say, oh, the sun is here to learn from the father and have the boundaries set and so forth, the care given. And that's true as far as it goes. But I saw this other power. I've seen the power of the soft papa the power of the poet, the power of the, the priest shaman, the power of the rebel, the power of the consciously developed warrior. And I love you, Don Miller. We'll see what journey might be left for me, but I have just enough energy to hold the phone here. And I'm sure it dragged on and I left out the important parts. But I love you. I love you. I so deeply and truly love you. And I know that we've had our, I don't know if it's a falling out or difference or whatever. I'm not trying to repair anything. In fact, I don't think I have anything to repair. Doesn't mean I'm right. But am I saying that doesn't mean, well, I think that other guy has to repair son. I don't think that's true either. I'm not here to say, oh, why don't we fix that thing? Um, I feel like we both try to address it honestly. Uh, I don't feel like Maybe we'll return to how we were with the late night laughs, and that's okay. The point is I love you. Thank you, beautiful man. You've improved the world immeasurably, and I love you.